Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing the Savril yarn haul and I'm finishing off a pen pal letter where you'll see how I use the yarn to tie up the packaging. I'll put a link to the Avril yarn website where I bought these yarns in the description box below. So as you can tell, they are absolutely gorgeous. I came across them on Instagram, especially being used to tie up snail mail packages. And honestly, I just went overboard. I've never seen anything like them before. They are so delicate with little strings and pom-poms embedded into the thread itself. I have no idea how they were made. But I've gone for a range of colors. I've gone for light colors and darker ones, as well as some neutrals. They have a bunch of fun names. Some of them are in Japanese and others have sort of English translation. Um, uh, but I, if you'd like to know which uh, yarn uh, is which, just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you on that. Some of these yarns, honestly, like they just remind me of the sea or they remind me of, you know, different times of year, different seasons. Just there's this lovely artistry to how they've been made. I definitely see myself using them to wrap up gift packages and snail mail in the future, as well as even using them um, to create bookmarks, to tie um, the front of a card panel and use them in card making even. Lots of different ways. And, and this one here would be perfect for Christmas, for example. So they just so many different uses. Uh, this is a fun one called Popcorn. It, and as you can tell uh, why it's been named, it's very fluffy and adorable. And this is a lovely one with just this subtle hint of gold in it. Really pretty. So this is the Pen Pal letter that I'll be finishing off today to Michelle in Malaysia. Michelle, please don't watch this if you don't want a spoiler. <laughs> um, I'm sending Michelle some old book pages, a postcard that I wrote to her when I was holidaying in Robe, South Australia. I'm adding the letter and some extra goodies, some die cuts and journaling cards. I'm adding a couple of photos of Charlie, my dog, uh, who's very cute and I don't think she's seen him before. I've added some of the yarn around a tag as a little gift for her as well as some washi tape. So I think these are some fun little extras as well as the letter and I love including them. Here I've got a tissue paper um, that I've cut up and it's actually been saved from some packaging that I bought, you know, from something I bought at a retail shop and I've just uh, reused that to create a little parcel to bundle everything together. And this will be the sort of canvas that we're collaging over and, you know, creating, um, you know, a sort of a beautiful product that, you know, when she pulls it out of the envelope, this little parcel, you know, she has this lovely little surprise. I'm taking another of the old book pages and just ripping it up and adding a vintage label to it as well. I'll be, you know, playing around with lots of different elements, stamps, stickers, um, even possibly you know wax sealing uh, we'll see where it goes I just like to you know when I sit down you know get a cup of tea put on some music just relax and go with it so I've been taking uh, Versa Magic ink and this little hedgehog stamp that I got from Daiso and I'm what I'm doing here is just adding you know a bit of very light texture to the book page so these stamps aren't necessarily going to be you know easy to see or going to pop they're just going to sort of add to the background details and give us a bit of texture I love that enjoy today stamp it's it's just a lot of fun you can really put it on anything um, I bought these uh, Versa Magic inks from cute things from Japan uh, it's a really lovely website and one of the few places where I found them I'm just using a bunch of different rubber stamps that I have in my collection. Some are old and some are new to me. This is a sticker folder from the brand Kitta that I store all my stickers in. If you ever want to see a uh, sticker walkthrough or washi tape walkthrough, you know, of uh, all wax seals, of all the sort of wax seals or washi tapes I have, um, I'm welcome to show you guys, but just let me know if that's something you're interested in because I know that I enjoy seeing other people's collections. Here I'm taking the MU print-on stickers, and these are ones I got 
in my Somethings of Mine haul in my last video. And they're a lot of fun. They're so easy to rub on. I'm just going in there with, you know, just a wooden paddle stick. Super easy. And when you peel them off, it's so satisfying and just goes perfectly. And I love the floral ones. I love adding them as just little details. But then, you know, you can bring in one of the larger elements and, you know, it, it's it's gorgeous as well. So there's a great balance in them as well that I enjoy. Here I'm trying something that I haven't quite done before. Instead of cutting it out, I'm just putting it all down and then only rubbing the one I want to include. And I didn't know if this was going to work out or if the other ones were going to stick to the paper, but it actually worked beautifully. So you don't have to cut them out as I've been doing. You can just peel back the backing and just rub the ones that you want. Here are a couple of dried flowers. So here in Australia it's autumn, but I've dried these and pressed them from spring and summer and I'm adding a sticker from La Dolce Vita that I've cut the white border off of just like to do it so it blends in more with the rest of the collage I love using dried flowers in my snail mail they're so easy to do um, all you need is kitchen towel or baking paper and they'll press between books you know without you having to do anything you just forget it and you come back to it um, just be careful when you're using very old book pages that are quite delicate because they can rip. So I was just trying to glue it without ripping it. Um, I'm using the Tombow Mono Adhesive to stick down the pressed flowers. You don't need a lot. Um, just a little dab um, just to secure it because it's not getting knocked about really. It's just going in an envelope. Uh, but I find this works pretty well uh, just for sticking those down and isn't too wet as long as you put a little amount. This is one of my favorite new stamps from Noop. Uh, I just love the idea of wandering the halls at night with a candle in this candle holder, you know, <laughs> like they did in the olden days. <laughs> a bit of vintage charm. And then I'm adding the La Dolce Vita girl that I fussy cut to the page. So if you guys have any feedback on how I can improve my videos or anything you'd like to see, just let me know because I am, you know, I am listening. I want you guys to enjoy watching just as much as I'm enjoying making. Here I'm taking the, the red Hibana yarn, I believe it's called, and I decided to go with this one because it ties in with the poppies on the envelope. And it just adds a really lovely touch. I'm just going to go simply just around the side and uh, sort of underneath the label. You do have to fuss a little bit with uh, tying a knot or tying a bow with this yarn because it is so delicate. So, you know, be prepared to, uh, you know, finesse it a little bit and, and muck about until you sort of get the bow that you want um, and the right shape. But it is worth it, I think, you know, just for that little extra time. Yeah, you get a lovely little bow there that just adds that pop of colour. So next I am decided to go ahead with the wax seal. I figured um, it would just work really well with the string. And I mean, who's kidding? I love wax sealing. <laughs> Lighting the candle is just gets me in the zone straight away. I'm using a blend of black, olive -y green and gold and this was inspired by an Instagrammer called Snail Mail Renate and she creates beautiful wax blends. This is my custom owl wax seal and this used to uh, have no proper handle but I've put it on one now so now it's a all grown up wax seal and works wonderfully. So that was made by my mom and, and that's just a, a really lovely um, gift from her. So I'm going to go ahead and stir the wax with an unbent paper clip. And this is an easy way to create your own wax colors. So all you need is a small uh, assorted mix of wax beads and then you can go ahead and mix your own blends and create new colors too. I've very much gotten into dotting sort of the collage with 
you know, extra little bits of wax on the spoon and it just adds this, you know, lovely little touch and ties in those darker colours. I waited about a minute for the uh, wax to harden and there is my owl looking very cute against the red thread and I've gone ahead and experimented with bringing in an ink pad this is um, in a very light color called wheat and I'm just going to dab on some of that ink as a highlight just to get him to pop a bit if you uh, leave it for you know a few hours or overnight it doesn't smudge it does stay on the owl and doesn't transfer onto anything so that's a really good tip if you uh, have ink pads and you're into wax sealing um, and you want to highlight something. So that is the finished parcel and I'm very happy with the result and that'll be going in the Van Gogh painting envelope that I've decorated and addressed and I'll be sending that off in the post to Michelle. If you'd like to see more of my snail mail creations I'll put my Instagram down in the description box. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!